You guys are beautiful, really, just, just the way you are. And you guys know that the Filipinos are the beautiful, most beautiful in the world. Don't judge on what people think or what you see in society or especially on social media, which is the worst. I think one of the most important lessons in life is to remember to have an attitude of gratitude and humility. I think we should understand where the gift comes from. It's not mine, it's been given to me. Like, use what I have, use what you have to help others, to contribute to the world. It's not, you won't be able to take it with you, you can leave it here. If you want to live in a beautiful state, it has to be in a state of gratitude. Sadness, loneliness, anger, jealousy, or negative emotions, and they cannot coexist with gratitude. We all have these negative emotions right yes. now. We're feeling sad, lonely, we're jealous, we're angry. They cannot exist with gratitude. And gratitude, if you live in that state, your entire world will change. If you're stressed with school, of course, but look, you're alive, you have your two eyes, you're breathing, you have food. You have, you have most of the things what millions in the world wish to have. You have water for you is granted. Children are dying in Africa because they don't have water. That's why me, I, I'm so grateful because I think I have seen so much in my life that I cannot complain, I cannot criticize. That's why it's important to contribute as much as you Traveling opens you incredible doors in your heart to really expand, not just what you see around, but also inside of you. Nobody cares how good looking you are, how smart, how funny you are, how rich you are. People don't matter. Only thing people matter is how you make them feel when they are with you. They are with you. That's the ultimate victory. People think how good you are, how rich you are. It doesn't matter. True relationship, true life, friendship will stay if you make them feel valued, seen, and it doesn't matter how much money you have, how good looking, if I have a long nose, if you have a flat nose, who cares about about things of how you look and all that. It's not that. <laughs> A real good heart person will not care about that. That knows. Wait. Go. No, it's important to know that. I know many Filipinos care about how they look. But you should not. You guys are beautiful. Really, just, just the way you are. And you guys know that the Filipinos are the beautiful, most beautiful in the world. Don't judge on what people think or what you see in society or especially on social media, which is the worst. And all your filters on TikTok, it will even make you worse because you're not seeing the truth of who you are. A lot of people say you should not film while helping people. Sometimes I disagree because, as you know, on social networks, there's full of negativity and hate. Yeah. The kindness we witness every day deserves to be shared. Think about it if you scroll for 30 minutes or one hour a day. How many things you do really remember or you got value out of it? Not a lot, right? If we're all honest. What if one minute you see something positive that will enlighten your day or that you learned something or made you smile, or make you feel, oh, I want to do the same, help other. It's to inspire the new generation. That's the goal. And to all become a better person. And storytelling is so important because you can be a great content creator like film, but if you know has a reel the first second, if it's not interesting, if people don't dive into the story, they will leave. So you have to learn how to grab the, the attention of your audience to make something meaningful and personal. That's the most beautiful. They always say if you create content around the three P's, which is people, place, and purpose, that you can create beautiful. So when I'm creating a beautiful content, it's not just about the content, all, but it's also how to grab the interest of the audience, right? Absolutely, yes. However, you should not create just content for the viewers. It must be something that brings joy to your life and brings meaning as well. Because if you just do for the viewers, one day if it will not work, you will quit. However, if the views are not there and you have meaning into it, you will still continue because it's a passion. It's really meaningful to you. Exactly. It's something that you have to enjoy. And stop watching too many other people's lives and mm -hmm. create your own life. I know we spend a lot of time on social media, but try to produce more than you consume. It's very hard, but because we get caught up with the scrolling, even me, even me sometimes. I try to go 30 minutes a day to understand, and I have to make man, it's, it's full of nonsense. That's why it's good, to, not full, but like 90%. And when I see a good, I'm like, oh, I, I subscribe because a guy gave like a note or he made someone happy. It, it's beautiful. 